Hello and welcome to Be a Tier, the German Engineer. Today we are back with episode 11 of our newest Let's Play series and this is of course Oxygen not included. Today we have a lot of improvements to do around the base and maybe we can start taking care of our saltwater problem. So let's just jump right into it and see how that works out for us. And here we are. So let's get started with the first thing on the agenda. Let's take a look in our critter drop off up here in our starvation farm. And we can see we have 17 out of 20 critters in here. That is right. Yes, 17. As soon as we reach 20, the dupes will not put any more in here because 20 is the maximum for a critter drop off. So what we have to do is we have to transfer the eggs in here and let them hatch in here. If they make it and they become a little critters, it's fine. If not, and they become eggs, it's also fine. Either way around, that is what needs to happen and we will just do exactly that that's also going to be very easy and straightforward we're going to grab this conveyor loader right here and we're going to plop it right there then we're going to come over here snap up a conveyor rail if you can find one there it is and we're just going to come all the way along here all the way up to the top and right here we're going to just plop it in yep this simple that's straightforward and here we have this and a little bit of power yeah this wire here 3725 watt potential load that is because of all of our incubators down here but still though 1000 watt seems a little bit low can we replace this wire here by any chance let's take a look what do we have we should have a bunch of iron and we do we have 7153 kilograms worth of iron so that is exactly what we are going to do we're going to replace all these wires here with iron the reason why we have so much iron is yeah our iron volcano it is finally paying off that we tamped that thing and that is very very good so i'm gonna replace all the wires over here with conductive wires and that should be a hell of a lot better so let me do that and then we move on to the next thing Next on our list is right down here in the middle. We only have a few of our hydroponic farms in here. Yes, we held out as long as we could, but slowly but steadily, we should probably do something about it and get a little bit more food in, especially since I'm planning on bringing in another dupe. So let's do that. We're going to go deconstruct buildings and we're going to deconstruct this entire row right here. As soon as those are gone, we're going to replace them with hydroponic farms. What we need for that is, of course, a little bit of light. Can we make it happen with one? No, we can, unfortunately not. Add a little bit sad but it's okay we're gonna plop one right here one right there go back into our f2 overlay and plop in a little bit of power as well just like that and that should help us get in a few more bristle blossoms along here and that should be fine for right now in the food department Speaking of bringing on a new dupe, let's take a quick look into our printing pod right here. Let's choose a blueprint and let's see what we have available. We have a meep on the left, suit wearing and doctoring, increased germ resistance, unpracticed artist and allergies. Definitely not going to fly alone for the allergies because we have floral scent all over the place. So yeah, that's not going to happen. Snazzy suit we don't need. Quinn, researching, operating, and building, uncultured and unpracticed artist. Okay, maybe you guys know. If you do, let me know down in the comments. Increase the core morale bonus plus 20 right here. And on the bottom, also increase the core morale bonus plus 5. Do those stack? And if not, which one is used? Because truth be told, I have not the slightest idea. But this here is overall a really good dupe. What about Steve over here? Operating, farming, and supplying. Decreased air consumption, decreased aesthetics, and decreased husbandry. Yeah, sorry Steve, you're not gonna make the cut. But Quinn right here. Quinn could be a dupe that we could send to our new planetoid eventually. That may be a good idea, but researching and building definitely comes in handy. Yeah, I think we may do that. Let's bring on Quinn. Quinn is of course not gonna stay Quinn. And since I ran out of YouTube members, if you want to support me directly, don't forget YouTube memberships are available and I would highly appreciate it. You will get your own dupe. We're gonna use one of my most senior Discord members and that is a random dude. Welcome on board, random dude. Let's get building. All right, we have a new dupe. This year's getting built. So far, we are looking pretty decent. Meanwhile, over here on the left, our symbol read farm, we are once again slowly but steadily running low on polluted water. But there is definitely something we can do about it. And all the way up here, we have a bunch more polluted water. So we should probably start digging up there and get more in. But before we do any of this, we need to, of course, put in a new diverter. And that's exactly what we're going to do right here. The water is going to hit these four tiles, going to come all the way to the left and then drop down here. And hopefully does not flood our liquid lock, because that is certainly something that we don't want. And actually, we might as well dig out those three tiles here as well just so we get rid of them and we have an even lower chance of something flooding our liquid lock 
Meanwhile, up here in our Draco area, yes, our conveyor loader here is done. And we can come into here and say critter eggs, only Draculid eggs and glossy Draculid eggs with a number nine priority. Yeah, as a matter of fact, let's make it a number eight. Reason being is this here is going to be a number eight and these here are going to be a number nine. And down here on the bottom, this is our storage bin for all sorts of nonsense, including oxalite. Not entirely sure why, but that is fine. We're going to say no more Draculid eggs and no more glossy Draculid eggs. Throw them out of there, then pick them up and either bring them first here. And if these are already full, bring it into here and drop them into this area. That is the general idea. But just looking at this here, I'm just considering... Why do we even have normal Dracos anymore? I think there is no point. We have so much simple reads, we don't even know what to do with it. Let's take a look into here. Into fiber, we have a total of 893 units. And we're going to get a hell of a lot more before our farm over there dies. This is more than we will ever need for anything. There is no question. So I think we're going to get rid of normal Dracos right here. And how we're going to do this, we're going to come into here and we're going to say no more Draculids. Well, actually, we're going to say you can stay. But we're going to say glossy Draculids and glossy Draculids go into here. And our incubator right here, we're going to remove this egg. We don't want it anymore. Do we have anything else that makes more sense? We have 12 stone hatchling eggs and 7 smooth hatchling eggs. My goodness. 3 fry eggs. 1 glossy Draculid egg. I think we are fine as it is right now. Yeah, I don't see a reason to actually change anything. We're going to leave this one here open for right now. And if needed, we will change it. We already have three glossy Draculid eggs. I don't think there's a point in making four out of that. We actually have way too many. But that is fine. Right now, we are looking good. And that's what that's going to stay. Over here on the left, a diverter is built, which means we can come up here. And let's see, we are probably just going to grab this one here and come all the way up to the top. Yeah, nothing's going to stop us. We're going to come all the way to the top as high as we can go. To the best of my knowledge, we shouldn't have any slime lung in here. No, there's no slime, therefore no slime lung. So that's pretty decent. We're just going to dig this entire thing here out slowly but steadily. And then we're going to grab all the polluted water and let it drop down to the floor. Yep, that should be fine. Let's get that done. And while I'm at it, something else that I want to do slowly but steadily is dig out this entire thing right here. We're just going to start at the top and we're going to dig through here four high and with a number nine priority, this one here gonna dig this one tile out as well and we're just gonna come down and dig all of this here out we don't worry about the chlorine we're just gonna drop it down to the bottom of our base no problem whatsoever so that should be perfectly fine that is what we slowly but steadily gonna do on the side apparently i don't really have any plans of what to put in here but that is fine we will definitely find something eventually we're also currently not researching anything so let's take a look into our supercomputer and all the way down on the bottom yes right around here home luxuries we are going to go for the comfy bed or better to say mainly and most importantly the plastic ladder that is what i want to get in so we can actually replace all of our normal ladders right here with plastic ladders and that is exactly what we are going to do next because yeah there is no point in having those around anymore we have so much plastic we don't know what to do with it let's take a look in plastic we have 38.3 tons. My goodness. Yep, that is good. And that's what we're going to do. And the bristle blossoms are in and our research is completed. So let's get rid of all the notifications. We don't need the refashionator, at least not right now. But what we do need is the plastic ladder. So let's get into replacing everything. The entire length of the base should at the end of the day be plastic ladders, even down here. The faster the dupes move, the better it is for everybody involved. And that's what we are aiming for. Down here, it's a little bit hot for our plastic ladder. So we're probably not going to come all the way down here. Let's say maybe to right around here should be decent enough. Yes. But what we definitely need is the right side right here. So we're going to come all along here, all the way straight to the top. There we go. That should help out. And I hope the dupes get it done relatively soon. So they move a little bit faster throughout the base. Right down here, we have our massive saltwater storage. Let's take a look. I believe it was 405 tiles. Yes, 405 tiles. So if each and every one of those tiles here is only 1000 kilograms, we have 405 tons. But obviously, we have a hell of a lot more than that. So we probably have roughly 450 tons. Yes, 450 tons worth of salt water that is a lot of salt water to get rid of and the easiest thing would be to plop a couple desalinators down here and just store the water in some random location and we may still have to do that so don't get me wrong here because what we are about to do is complete trial and error i have never tried anything like it especially not life so what can we do when we go into use blueprint this blueprint right here let me zoom out so you can actually see the entire thing may seem a little bit familiar yes it is the exact same thing that we built in the last episode and that is exactly where i got it just from up above so let's plop this in here and then let's modify it from the left to the right in cancel i don't know what this here is so we're gonna get rid of it 
I'm going to get rid of the Atmos suit docks because, well, we already wear an Atmos suit when we come down here anyway, so there's no point in putting on another one, which is impossible anyway. Then in conveyor rails, we're going to cancel all these conveyor rails down here. These here were meant to go to our main storage. Of course, this is not on our left, it's now on our right. This here needs to be cancelled very badly because we do not want to dig this here up. We want to keep this thing here as inactive as possible as long as we can. Then let's go back to all. We're going to get rid of all this here. We don't need it in power wires we are probably also going to get rid of all this here we don't need that either in uh, let's see here buildings we're going to get rid of the entrance so we can come in here and what we also don't need right now is the steam turbines that's way too much but we're going to leave of course the rest here because that is something that we will need uh, except in power wires we can get rid of i believe three of them even if it's one too much it's not that big a deal and then most importantly down here all this here has to go. We don't want it. We don't need it. At least not right now. We need to rebuild this entire thing right here. And for that, I believe I will also need one more space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plop it into this here. Yeah, that is my idea. I have no idea once again if this is going to work or not. So don't crucify me if it doesn't. But we will at the bare minimum give it our best shot. So let's get this here built. Or hold on, one more thing. Down here on the bottom, we need insulated tiles to actually close this here off. Apparently, I did not copy this here when I made the blueprint. But right here, these have to go. And then in buildings, also these here have to go so our dupes can actually go in here. Okay, apparently we need a couple more things. For example, ladders. Yes, ladders from around, let's see, right here all the way up to the top right there. And then also a fire pole to speed up the entire process just a tiny little bit. Come on, all the way up, please. Thank you. All this here needs to be dug out. All this here needs to be dug out to over. Something like this here. All this here needs to be dug out. And then we're going to come two more over all the way. Yeah, literally all the way. That's fine. As a matter of fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go insulated tiles and I'm going to plop in another brand new floor into here just so we have it and our dupes can walk around a tiny little bit faster. And also on this side right here, we of course need a ladder all the way to the top with a fire pole attached to it. Our dupes can walk along here, come up to there, come all the way to the top. And here we will get digging again all the way to right there. Yeah, that's as far as we can go. Right here, right here, right here, and right here, and right here is also fine. And this here we're going to dig out as well. Woo! Yes, that is a lot of digging. And don't worry, we will go over it in full length once we actually get there. But first of all, it needs to get built. So let's go. Most of the ladders in our base are by now replaced with wonderful, wonderful plastic. All this here is dug out. All the stuff is still laying around and outgassing because the dupes have so much to do that they just don't have time to actually clean it up. It is actually insane. But down here on the bottom, we're also slowly but steadily making progress. The dupes are down here. They are digging and digging and digging and hopefully also start building very, very soon. Only one thing, of course, is missing. Let's grab us another tile. We don't need an insulated tile, actually, though. A normal tile will do the job just fine and plop it into here as soon as they reach this area here the dupes plop it in and we can get rid of this one piece of obsidian as well so the dupes can move a little bit more freely but other than that all we can do right now is wait and hope that this year gets built relatively quickly down here our build is taking more and more shape it's looking better and better here's one more tile that i forgot about but other than that it looks really actually good not going to lie the dupes are making progress all the ladders in the base are also replaced with plastic all the way to down here to speed up the process as much as possible alone building the ladders cost about two cycles or so so the dupes did nothing else for two cycles than build ladders but that is a worthwhile investment for the entire rest of the game so it's definitely a good thing but something else that we have a problem with down here we have nowhere to go with our power and especially since we have another volcano right here we should probably consider doing something about that and that is what i'm planning on doing i mean the best thing would obviously be to come with our heavy watt wire just straight down there's just a lot of stuff in the middle here isn't there can we actually do something about it and i believe the answer is yes we will just try to dig through the entire thing and i still want to keep our coal biome alive so First of all, what are we going to do with our ladder? We're going to come all the way down until we hit the Abyssalite and we're going to do the exact same thing with our fire pole all the way to here. Here then we will need to build some sort of construction to try to keep as much cold in here as we can and keep the heat out. And that is exactly what we're going to do. But first we will need to get digging. So let's do exactly that. 
down here in the bottom we will of course have to meet up with our wire so let's do that as well let's take a look we're gonna grab a normal ladder and then let's see the ladder is right here and with the ladder apparently we're gonna come all the way to roughly right there just like that and then we're gonna grab a fire pole and we keep on going straight down and start right here to come all the way down here to the bottom just like this here there we go that's what that should look like and then we're gonna dig all of this here out this is how far we're gonna dig and our ladder should never meet that is the important thing but i believe we can make that happen so let's get building down here on the bottom we're making more and more progress that is wonderful but the next thing on the list that we need is to actually fill up our liquid lock right here and create a vacuum in here as well as in here so let's do that really quickly and it's very simple and straightforward all we're gonna do is we're gonna come all the way over here all the way up to there right here we will need a liquid bridge somewhere but do we need it right there yeah that's probably the smartest thing to do yeah that's exactly what we're gonna do we're gonna come all the way over to here all the way over to here and then right here, we're just going to plop it. Actually, let's come straight because we're going to tear it out anyway. So might as well do it right there. Simple as that. And then, of course, the liquid bridges. Here one, here one, and here one. And all of this here is temporary. We will still need this line here later. But for right now, it's only for crude oil. And that is what we're going to do. Let's go. And right here, most of this here is built. And now I can actually show you what I have in mind to keep the heat transfer as low as possible. So let's get started. We're going to go into base, grab us an insulated tile, and we're going to come all the way over to here and all the way over to there. Then we're going to come two tiles up. Let me see here. Yes, right here. And then all the way over. That was one too many. Uh, actually, right here is also one too many. There we go. That's what that should look like. Just right here, we have this box. And on the top of the box, right here, what we're also going to do is, in power, we're going to grab us a heavy wet joint plate, just like this here. All this here can be built without letting any water in. All that we're going to have in here, it will be hydrogen, which is slightly suboptimal. I'm not going to lie about it, but we should be able to do something about that as well. We're going to get rid of this one tile right here and get this here built as it is. That is the first step. As soon as we have this here, I'm probably going to fill this one here up with water. Better to say salt water from above as soon as we have the same thing up here on the top the nice thing about the top is we can literally just dig into here we just need to be fast about it that is the only thing we just need to get it done as soon as we can so we can build the exact same construction on the top but first we need to come with the heavy watt wire all the way through here the faster we get it done the less heat transfer we have so the better it is so i'm making sure that this here has the highest priority and every dupe we have is going to work on it Let's go dupes, let's get it done, let's get through here, let's take a look what we have here, and then also get all the way down to the bottom. Down here on the bottom, we're already putting crude oil in, and as a matter of fact, we are already done, so we can actually snip it off right here. Let's get this here snipped off, we, that should be all the oil that we will ever need. Yes, the liquid lock is completed, which is gonna empty out our line, and that is that. It's literally this simple. That is exactly what that should look like, and then we're gonna give a mopping command right there, and our liquid lock is done wonderful now we can go into our f6 overlay once again and get rid of most of the stuff here we will not need this bridge anymore we will not need any of these lines here anymore everything can go the liquid vent has to go as well and the rest is going to stay because over here on the right side eventually what we will need of course will be a liquid pump and we're just gonna plop it into here and come with an insulated liquid pipe all the way up to here straight over and then a liquid bridge i'm not going to build the liquid bridge right now because i don't want to turn it on or you know what actually we are going to build a liquid bridge what i'm not going to build is going to be the wire connection which is going to come all the way to right there and that is it for right now that will be fine and right here is random dude he's submitting now the security door bioscan and when the door opens what do we have in here another neural vaccinator isn't that something we're gonna inspect the desk we're gonna open up the locker and of course inspect it as well to get out as much as possible of our data banks and we will see what's in here as well but most importantly we can keep on building all the way down that is what we need especially this one right here that will be the end of it that is wonderful so we made it all the way through this one here needs to be deconstructed the ladder comes all the way down and here of course let's see gemster what are you up to get in here <laughs> let's see what happens and right here champster already jumped into the neural vaccinator but of course i want to show you what it does and it says your champster's brain is still vibrating they have never felt better champster acquired the regenerative trait this robust duplicant is constantly regenerating health 
plus 20 a cycle. Yeah, that is very good. That is another wonderful trait for you, Gemster, that you will definitely need later. And by the way, it is probably not the best idea to give a single dupe every single trait, but Gemster definitely deserves it. So let's build the last few things here. Please, let's give this one here a number nine priority. We need to come down here in our F2 overlay. The heavy butt wire needs to make it all the way through. At this point, when all this here is done, we are properly connected. And all this here, didn't I say rip this here out? Please, dupes, rip it out so we can get some power down here and create a vacuum in here as well as in there. And then we will also start building over here very soon. Not quite yet, but very soon indeed. We will also not get over there, do we? We need to tear out this one tile here so that the dupes can come up and back down to actually reach the right side. So let's do that right away as well. Right here, everything is now built, and I actually wanted to build the same box that I have right here up here on the top, but truth be told, yeah, that is absolutely unnecessary. Screw it. We're gonna leave it alone. It'll be fine. We're just gonna come all the way through here, and then one thing that I do want to do, though, is I'm going to build probably right here. Uh, let's go into base a mechanized airlock. That's what we're gonna plop in here, and we're gonna make sure that the dupes cannot get through, so we actually don't have him come down here and get back into the water all the time, kind of like Satsai does right now. That we don't want, but everything else is fine even if you transfer a little bit of heat in here screw it let's melt it to the ground eventually we will have to get it out here anyway might as well do that and get some wonderful water so we don't have to dig it up so let's do that and it'll be fine and right here on the left side we already have a vacuum the right side i turned off since we are still open right here so last but not least the right side right here needs to be done so let's see what we need first of all let's go into automation and grab us a hydro sensor and the hydro sensor is probably going to live right here yes in shipping we will need hold on i will need to build all of those of course not out of lead i need to build them out of steel so let's plop a steel one into here then go into shipping and let's grab us a where we had a conveyor shutoff built out of steel and we're gonna plop it in right there that should be a good position. A conveyor rail thermal sensor, all built out of steel right here. Then we will need a conveyor loader, also built out of steel right beside here. And a auto sweeper on the top, also built out of steel, please, right here on the top. That should work out perfectly. So why do we build it exactly like this? Well, next we need conveyor rails. And the conveyor rails, these here are out of steel, and these here are also out of steel, I believe. Yes, they are. That is fine. And we're just going to come over here to the right, back up to right there, and into here. Right here, when we come out, we're going to come over to the right, and we don't need to build it out of steel anymore. That is fine. We're going to go over to gold right now. That is actually way too far with steel, but it's fine. Whatever. We can always make more steel. Uh, we definitely are not short on that. We're going to come up to here, then over to there, straight through here, and hook it up right there. And then here on the top, we're going to come out. This is going to be our output. That is going to be very good. One other thing that we need, though, is right here. We will build a, another one of those, and it's going to live right here. Because we are going to change how this entire system here works. And I apparently forgot to deconstruct it, or to better say, to cancel that. We don't need this conveyor bridge anymore. So we are going to say, not this here, but the conveyor bridge deconstructed. And this one tile right here. No, all of this here is fine. Only the bridge we don't need. So we are good in, this, in that department. And then right here, we're going to come out and come all the way down to here. From here, we're going to come over to the left. Just like that, we're going to come through here. And why we build it the way we do, you will see here very shortly. Down here on the bottom, we are looking really, really good. The dupes have cleaned up. Everything is built, but there are a few more things missing. Of course, we need metal tiles, for example. So that absolutely has to happen. And we slowly but steadily, one by one, just fill it all the way up and then close it off with insulated tiles. In our F6 overlay, we can see here we have a completed loop coming all the way around. And up here, I put in a liquid pump. And this is how we are going to fill up our liquid reservoir right here. That is going to be very, very good. It's literally this simple. I love it. So next on the list, is we need to have a robo miner why we need a robo miner you will probably see once it's running but first of all we need to research it and then research i already looked it up it is right here so let's get rid of this here so we can actually see what's happening here we need to go into colony development and here we have the robo miner as well as the payload opener we are only interested in the robo miner right now so let's give the contract to actually get this here research what do we get on the left sweepy and robots module wonderful the robots module we will need later anyway so it's definitely no harm no foul something else that we will need in shipping is going to be another auto sweeper made out of a steel right here and it needs to reach all of this here that is perfect let me take a look this one here stops reaching on the left side of the neutronium and this one here goes all the way through the neutronium so we can reach with those two auto sweepers the entirety of this build and that is what we want other than that though we are almost ready yeah there is not a hell of a lot missing 
um, right here. We will need a storage for our water and it should preferably also be hooked up to our cooling loop right here. So that is something else that we need to build next. So we're going to come into here and for high, we're going to dig up all of this here and we're going to build a storage for our finished water or better to say our boiled water. That is probably all that we need for right now. So let's do that and then go from there. Right here, all of this here is now dug out, so we are looking really good. So let's build us a quick infinite storage, because once again, we have 405 tons worth of water over there. Anything but uh, infinite is not going to work. <laughs> We're going to build so many liquid reservoirs that we are still here next week, and we definitely don't have time until next freaking week. So let's get started. One right here, one right there, one right here, two on top, one coming over, one more up and one over. That's it. It's literally this simple. We can directly start with insulated tiles as well. We're going to come all the way through here, all the way up to there, all the way over to here. All this here needs to be done and that should be fine. We of course need to cancel a couple so we can actually come in here and build all of this stuff. But also a ladder is needed right here and right there so the dupes can come over. We can dig out most of this stuff right here as well. We're going to leave this salt for right now so the dupes can come over. Yeah, but other than that, I believe we're looking pretty decent. Let's get all of this here built. Oh yeah, might as well while we are at it, put in a pump right here. We're going to come out in any direction for right now with an insulated pipe. And of course, we need to come in with power as well. And where do we come from with the power? How much is on this wire here? Probably eventually enough. So we're going to come over from this direction here. Yeah, that'll be fine. And we're going to hook it up just like that right down here on the bottom this here is now completely built i already put in some cooling as well but first of all we need to fill this here up i already gave the command to actually build our conductive wire as well and then i don't know if you noticed but i put the ladder on the right side instead of on the left side so that is also done the dupes have nothing to do everything goes now really quickly which is perfect this pipe right here we will need two things for it in plumbing first of all we need the liquid valve liquid valve goes right here and then we will need a liquid shutoff. And the liquid shutoff goes right there, just like this. Then we come with our insulated pipe, instead of going straight through all the way over, come into here, then into there, and then over. And we need to, of course, snip this here off. Come on, and this here also needs to be snipped. That has to be built. So we can actually control the flow, the amount that we put in, but also at the same time, we want to control how much we put in, and that is down here. So these two here, we're gonna build right behind each other. And then also our hydro sensor right here. You have probably been wondering what that is for yes now we can actually use it we're going to grab us the automation wire and with the automation wire we're going to come straight over here and into there also need a tiny little bit of power so let's get that built as well and then we can actually start putting some salt water in here close it off create a vacuum and also actually research our aluminum volcano so all that needs to happen dupes let's get it done right away let's go and over here, the cooling loop is now going. I already turned off the pump because it's more than full. Yeah, that is perfectly fine. Only little problem is I accidentally turned on the thermo aqua tuner and it got a little bit hot in here in our F3 overlay. We can clearly see it. Yes, just a little bit hot. And our gas pump here is taking some overheat damage, but that's fine. As long as it's just a gas pump, it's not the end of the world. So let's finish up our cooling loop really quickly. That should be very simple. We're going to come over to here over to here here we're going to come down to there we're going to cancel this here and we're going to snip off this connection as well as this connection as a matter of fact all this stuff up here we can rip out and that's exactly what we are going to do right away so this here is what our cooling loop is going to look like we just need to build this one piece and then come down here and then snip off this connection right here as soon as that is done our water will loop around through the right and then come over to the left very simple very straightforward what we will also need is this pipe right here which is the output for our steam turbines we're going to come over to here build it up to here build it along here all the way up, all the way up, and over to there. And as soon as this here is done, we can actually close this here off with insulated tiles as well. That should be perfectly fine. So that should be the last thing that we need before we can close this here and put in our steam turbines, close off the entire thing, and then actually put the first piece of salt water down here onto the bottom. And now everything is working as it should. Our cooling loop is running around the pipe as it should, but it is not cooling yet. Well, because we have nothing in here. So let's make sure that that is getting done. We're going to plop this one tile in here so we can actually close this entire area here off. Then we're going to go into power, grab us a steam turbine or better to say two. Fill that out a lead. Yeah, lead is probably not the best idea right now. Let's make it iron just to be safe. Plop one right here and plop one right there. That is needed. That is the last things that we need up here. Then we can just close it off and call it a day on the top right here. But on the bottom, let's take a quick look into automation. Right here, this hydro sensor here needs to be set to, I'm not entirely sure, probably above five kilograms. 
Like I said, I've never tried it. I'm just completely guesstimating here. This sensor here needs to be set to above 150 degrees uh, or actually, yeah, above 150. That is correct. And then over here, this one here doesn't have power yet. So we're going to power it as well. Also, our pump is getting some power and we're going to turn on auto repair again. So we actually can use it to create a vacuum in here. Yeah, I think that should be fine. The last thing that's missing will be another conveyor loader over here on the left. But first of all, we need to get some salt water in. And salt water, we didn't connect this here, so let's do that right away. We will get enough salt water in here to fill it up to 5 kilograms. And then we will see what this here looks like. And now everything is done. We have the vacuum in here. The gas pump can go. All of our gas ducts can go. We will not need any of this anymore. In RF2 overlay, we can get rid of this power wire right here. And now we can actually set this one here to below 5 kilograms. That is, of course, important, or we will never get it out of here. So we can put in our first piece of salt water right here and our liquid valve. I set it to 3000 grams right now. I have no idea if that is good or not. It's trial and error. As I said before, it is what it is. Right over here, we're looking good. All we need is a heavy white choid plate and of course an insulated tile. And this one here will be closed off as well. And in our conveyor overlay, we can now also finish the conveyor up, of course, with steel. This one piece here is still missing. I think other than that, did I miss anything? I don't know. I guess we're about to find out. Well, I missed an output, of course. We don't have an output yet, but we will also get that done very, very soon. Uh, as a matter of fact, let's see. What can we do with the output? We need to come through the entire freaking base all the way to the top. Yeah, that's what needs to happen. We're going to grab this conveyor rail right here. It's built out of gold. We have plenty of gold, so we're going to come all the way over to here and then come all the way down, all the way through here, all the way through there, and then here all the way over down here on the bottom, through here and into there. That's going to cost us a lot of gold, so we need to dig up some more. But other than that, we are perfectly fine. Gold is something that we are not lacking on this map. And now, literally last but not least, we have one more thing to do, and that is another conveyor loader that we need right here. Of course, with a conveyor rail connected. And the conveyor rail is going to be very, very simple, and we're just going to make it out of iron or out of cobalt. It does not matter. It's not that hard. We're going to come all the way down to here and connect it to there. So why are we connecting it right to there? And what the hell is going on with this one right here? Well, this one here, this conveyor loader right here is here for one thing and one thing only, and that is for aluminum. Not metal or about, of course, refined metal. I don't think we have it yet. Nope, we don't. But as soon as we have it, we can set it up to aluminum. Whereas this conveyor loader right here, for example, is set up to something more interesting, and that is salt. We just need to find it. I believe it's in consumable or yes. This one here is salt, and this one here will also be salt. We put nothing but salt in here. It makes no sense to loop the salt around here because the salt is coming out at what maybe 100 degrees or so depending on what the temperature is in here maybe 150 but other than that the salt's doing nothing we're just gonna plop it straight down here and call it a day this one here we can now set up to above negative five degrees so we can actually start heating up this area right here and at the same time cooling down our cool box as well as this area right here let's get everything prepped for the first eruption so dupes get the last piece built and then we will see if it works at all that is going to be very very interesting and right here, the first eruption is happening. And right now, everything is boiling and we are putting in more water. That is what the hydro sensor is for. We will see. I have no idea if this here is going to work or not. We are currently already overheating because why? Why are we overheating? Let's take a look. Something is not working the way it should. Hmm. Where are we putting all of this here? You're putting the salt over here. Yeah, because this one here is not set up to anything and our aluminum is just laying around. That is the problem. Refined metal, aluminum, number nine priority. We always want to get the aluminum in first. Yeah, that is a hell of a lot better. And then we're going to can start looping it around. But this here is set to above 150 degrees Celsius. That is, of course, a problem. We need to set it to below 150 degrees Celsius. Um, let's see. Do we have to do something about it or is it going to be an issue? We come down here. We have our really, really hot conveyor rail contents right here. Uh, yeah, that is, of course, a problem. No, actually, it is fine. We have thankfully cooled it down enough and we can set it up properly. We're going to say right here, if our temperature is 30 degrees, not 330, but three, uh, about 30, we are going to loop it around. If it is above 30, then we're going to keep on looping. If it is below 30, we're going to send it out. So let's see if this here works. We're going to send in a green signal. So let's set it to below. Yeah, that is suboptimal. Currently, we are completely stuck right here no matter what I do, because the rest is not built. Yeah, there's one piece missing. There's a piece missing. 
Yeah, currently our loot system is completely stuck. Everything else is built but those two tiles. Come on, dupes, get it done. Build those two few more conveyor rails so we can actually get our stuff out of here. Nay, hey, nay. Hey. Yeah, dupes, come on. Now all of our materials are slowly but steadily leaving at a reasonable temperature. Not a big deal. Everything that is too hot, we're gonna loop around again. That is perfect. And right here we have a problem. Yes, yeah, they are not too happy about it. But that is fine because there's only one thing that we forgot and that is of course in shipping a conveyor bridge. We need somewhere in here a conveyor bridge so the stuff actually knows where it has to go. Which is of course right in this general direction. We're gonna snip this off, we're gonna snip this off. And then in the middle, this conveyor rail here, we're gonna tear it out. As soon as this here is built, it should hopefully work and I hope that is getting built right away because we really, really need it. And right here we have it. Our aluminum volcano is once again erupting and we are now cycling our aluminum all around thanks to this conveyor bridge right here. That was the last piece that was missing and now we have it. We're looking a hell of a lot better. So let's see if we can get a bunch of heat in here and get some of the steam out of here. We have accumulated by now 80 kilograms. Yeah, that is probably because of the thermal aqua tuner. First of all, the temperature all around has to normalize to make this here work. If it works at all, I have actually no idea. Like I said, it may be a complete bust and we may have to rebuild it. But there's only one way to find out if we can get enough steam out to keep this here running. Because at some point, if we have too much steam in here, our aluminum volcano will not erupt anymore. So that is something that. I need to be very careful with. I already went down with our liquid valve to 2,500 grams from 3,000. So yeah, we need to see how this here goes. But one step after the next. Right now we are about three seconds away from another eruption and we can see we are at 68 kilograms worth of steam. So overall we have reduced the amount of steam in here from where we were before. So that is very, very good. It seems like it's working. I don't want to be too optimistic yet, but currently it looks like this may actually work out in our favor. But let's watch the next eruption and let's see what happens. This is the last thing that we are going to watch and then we're going to call it a day for this episode. I think we have done more than enough for today and next time around we are probably going to hop over to Abundino or whatever the hell that is. If you have any good suggestions for names, leave them in the comments down below. You know it, I'm happy to rename this thing here to whatever is the best thing you guys can come up with. Let me know and we will go from there. But currently it actually looks pretty decent. Now steam temperature is already back up to way above the temperature that we need. We're at almost 200 degrees. Our steam turbines are putting out a bunch of power and we are still getting more and more aluminum in. We're just looping it around down here on the bottom. Let's see. Our metal tiles are at 5 degrees Celsius. That is okay. Over here, our water is at about 50 degrees Celsius. That is also okay. Yeah, we are looking pretty decent. I'm wondering if we can keep this up here. I just need to monitor it very closely because there are so many potential points of failure. It's not even funny. But that is all I have for you today. So if you enjoy the content, please subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video and of course, comment down below. Let me know the name for our newest planetoid that we are probably going to take a look at next time around. And of course, leave me any feedback you have. And with that, I say thank you and peace.